What's up productive people? My name's Connor from BusyBox and in this video we're gonna go over everything you need to know about the BusyBox app. If you've not downloaded the app already, head over to the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store and search for BusyBox by Small Stage LLC. You can also scan the QR code on the box or go to busyboxsign.com app to download. Once you have the app downloaded, let's open it up and get into the good stuff. All right, so to start, when you first open up the app, you will see the welcome screen. Just tap on the let's go button and it will bring you to the scanning screen. While on this screen, hold down the two side buttons on your busy box for about a second and then release. Your busy box will light up blue and then appear on the scanning screen. Click on the device and enter a name. Quick little note, you can change the name of your device at any point. We'll get into where to find that feature a little bit later. After you hit save, you might be notified about a firmware update. To ensure that you get the most out of your busy box, we highly recommend that you always stay up to date with updates of the firmware and the app. Quick little pro tip to update the device, you will need a stable internet connection. After the update, we are presented with the main screen. Think of this as the control center for your busy box. Starting at the top left, we have a three dot list icon. This is where you can access the device screen. If you have more than one BusyBox connected, it will show up here. If you have another device that you want to be connected, click on the plus button in the top right corner of the devices screen. That will bring you to the pairing process. If you have two or more devices already paired, when you hit the plus button, it will bring up two options, add device and add group. Add device will bring you to the pairing process and add group will bring you to our grouping function. I linked a detailed video on grouping in the description below. In summary, groups allow you to control multiple devices from the same phone. If you're on an iPhone, let's run through how to create a group. First, select what busy boxes you want to group by selecting them from the list. If you want to select all of them, click on the select all box. After selecting the busy boxes you want to use for your group, rename it and hit save on the top right corner. After you hit save, it will bring you back to the devices page. From here, you can turn the group on and off by clicking on the power icon to the right of the group. The best part is, even if your busy boxes are in a group, you can still change the color of each individual busy box. To do so, click on the busy box that you want to change. For example, let's change the color of the top one. After I click on the busy box icon, it brings me to the main screen of this individual busy box. Let's say I want to make it blue. I can click on the blue preset. If I want to make it red, I can click on the red preset. But those are not your only options. Let's jump into color options in a second. Real quick, I want to talk about the gear icon on the top right corner of the screen. Click on the gear icon and it will bring you to the device setting screen. On the screen, you are able to rename your device. So if you didn't rename it when you paired, simply navigate to this screen and you will be able to rename your busy box. Also notice the function delete device and update. During the original pair, if you didn't update your busy box to the most recent firmware, you can do that here. If you want to remove a connected busy box from the app, you can click on the delete device button. This will remove the device from the app. While on the topic of deleting, when you're on the devices screen, swipe left over the device icon. This will give you two options, delete a device, which is the red trash can, or edit the device name, which is the orange pencil. If you hit the orange pencil, it will bring up the rename function. While on the devices screen, you can find out what version of the app you have and quickly navigate to our setup page, terms and conditions and FAQ page by hitting the inspector icon. From the devices app, the fastest way to get back to the main screen is by clicking on the busy box that you want to control on the devices screen. All right, let's talk about setting up presets. So if it's your first time pairing your device, your main screen will look like this. Notice the three different colored busy boxes at the bottom of the screen red, green, and blue with six open slots below. The open slots are where you can save presets. We find presets super helpful when assigning certain colors to messages or quickly changing between certain levels of busy. For example, in my house, yellow has a different meaning than red and green has a different meaning than yellow. These are my three favorite colors to utilize because I love the analogy of a stoplight. Red means I'm in deep focus, Yellow means if you need to come in, that's fine. 
and green means it's okay to come in. So let's add yellow to our list of presets. Now we can either change the blue preset to yellow or create our own. Let's try one of each. First, let's click on slot four. The first thing that we have to do is name our preset. Let's call this live. To change the color of the preset, swipe left over the group of presets or press and hold the slot. This will bring you to the color palette. From here, you can choose different colors or customize your own. To customize your own, click on the plus button on the color palette. This will bring up the color wheel where you can choose from millions of potential colors. If you're using your busy box in an office space and your company uses a certain hex color, you can stay productive and on brand by adding that hex color to the custom palette. If you want to adjust the brightness of the color, slide the brightness bar to the left or right. After you pick the perfect color and adjust the brightness, click save and your first preset is locked and loaded. Swipe right over the color palette or click the presets icon to return back to the main screen. Now you will see your preset in slot four. To adjust one of the presets that came with your device, simply click on it and follow the same steps. To quickly move between presets, you can use the chevron arrows to the left and right of the BusyBox icon or swipe. You can also click on the presets button that will pull up a list of presets that you have made and their names. As we move down the screen, you will see the power button. To turn your BusyBox on and off, tap on the power button. This will turn whatever BusyBox you're individually controlling on and off. So if you're editing a preset for the BusyBox that is in a group, hitting the power button will not turn all of the devices off, but instead just the one that you're controlling. The last thing we will go over is the battery indicator above the BusyBox icon. Just like your phone, this symbol lets you know how much battery you have left of your device. If you have any questions or want to deep dive into more specifics about each function, we built out a tutorial series that can be found on our YouTube channel. I will add a link to that playlist in the description of this video. Thanks for watching and stay busy.